Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. We are starting on our next project here. Um, I will have already shown the finished project because um, I wanted you to see what we're making <laughs> ahead of time. And uh, this is an envelope uh, style journal with many envelopes and several different little journals and all kinds of fun things. So if you haven't seen uh that finished video so you know what we're making um I'll, I'll, pu I'll put the link below and you can go back and take a look at that and um it's i think it's going to be a real fun project so i was inspired let me have a seat here uh by treasure books natasha over at treasure books who does phenomenal um tutorials and videos and what not uh, to do this. Now, of course, mine isn't going to be the same, but um, it's going to be quite similar uh, in the construction of it. So what you're going to need is you're going to need one of these large envelopes. Now, this one is super big, so they do make them smaller, and I, I made mine smaller. So you're going to need that, and I'll tell you the dimensions of the one I made. Uh, you're going to need cardstock or digitals or something to cover your pages. You're going to need um, either washi tape or fabric for hinging. I mean, you could use paper as well, but I don't know if it will lay as flat. And you're going to need a series of envelopes. And these um, these are the three I chose. I, throw, I chose three different sizes. And so um, these are going to be, you know, to put things in and all kinds of fun. So that's what you're going to need. And I'm using for my paper. Oh, you're also going to need some coffee stain paper or whatever for your journals. And um, I've already folded mine. And you're going to, in this project, I'm making two journals. Um, one will be to tuck in here, and then the other one will be the one that will be the flip here. So you will have seen that already um, if you previewed the thing, my video. Um, now I'm using this beautiful paper by, I think it's from Minte. I have to go back and look, and it's called the Muse. And I really liked, I chose it because of the, um, this, these images here, she's typing. And then on the cover, I'm going to use this one on the cover where she's writing and it's just beautiful paper and it's a double sided paper and I've had it in my stash for a long time and I'm finally finding a way to use it. So that's what we're going to be using. And then, uh, of course, either washi tape, um, or fabric strips for your hinges, then whatever you're gonna bind your journal with. And um, also, we're gonna be making a waterfall, waterfall journal, so papers for that as well. You can use anything. Um, I'm going to use, I have coffee stain, but I'm gonna use uh, parchment and then this pretty vintagey paper for this particular project, okay. With that, let's get started. Um, I do have a lot of things ready right here to go, so we don't waste a lot of time with me looking for what I need. Um, okay, so my envelope is, uh, I think, this this envelope is really big. It was too big because um, I'm going to be hinging the journal here, and I did not want that big space you see how much space we have here and here. So I cut it down where the eight and a half by 11 sheets folded in half would fit perfect. So this size, and you know, I could have left that space. And you know, even if you have a smaller one of these, these come in all different sizes, you could cut your paper to whatever you have. So. Most people kind of have these laying around for mailing, and if you don't, they're super cheap over at the dollar store, or dollar and a quarter now, I guess, for a nice size pack. Um, I actually picked up a huge stack of these at a um, 
um, you know, thrift shop. They were just sticking up with a bunch of papers, and I said, well, I'll, I know I'll use those. Okay, so I cut mine down to be not a little bit, it's like nine inches, but I kept the full, it's like 12 inches to here. Well, a little bit, 12 and a half inches. So first thing you're going to do is I did cut it down, and then I, if you have to cut yours down, I just put a thin bead of glue here and here and um, reinforced it with stitching. So, because I want this to last, you know. And um, you're gonna fold it, so not quite in half. You wanna leave this space here. And this is about three quarter, well, a little over half an inch. Yeah, a little over half an inch. Half an inch to three quarters of an inch because um, of the amount of things we're putting in here. And you want to be able to, you know, close it and have room so it doesn't get too bulky if you know what I mean. Okay, so the first thing, so you're gonna do that first, leave your space, and now we are going to bind our first journal because this this journal is going to uh, flip right in here off of the side. Okay, so um, depending on the size, you wanna make sure you have a space here. Okay, so you're not, you know, your papers don't, you know, you have plenty of room when you, when you end up, you know, folding this. So it'll be, it'll be like that, I should say. So, um, okay, so what I want, what I have in here is I only have, I think I have five sheets folded in half because I, it can't be too bulky because I'm also going to be putting another journal in here so what i simply have is just plain coffee stained uh types papers i have the dot grid i have plain coffee stain i think i might have oh that's it in here no i also have the um graph uh coffee stain graph paper so now and then i made a little you don't even need this cover you could just use this okay so this would you know flip so what I am doing though is I'm putting, because I have plenty of this paper, I'm putting this cover sheet over the top. Now, simple enough, just gonna do a quick three hole pamphlet stitch. You can do a five hole, you know, whatever, you know, whatever kind of stitch you want. Okay, and, um, or you can just bind it, you know, with a ribbon. It doesn't even have to be stitched. So let me get some thread here. And we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I'm thinking I might wax this. This is just um, crochet um, thread. You can use your wax linen. I just get a block of this beeswax and it, it, it glides through better and also when you knot it, it tends to hold the knot better. And I use, um, let me get my needles out here, excuse my reach, okay. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna thread this and then um, just do a quick, this is always a challenge for me guys because I'm trying to, what happens is wax gets, yeah, I gotta clean this out. Wax gets in these um, needles is I, you know, in the eye, so they get full and I can't, it's got wax in there and then the thread won't go through. So let's see if that helps. And it, nope, now I'm splitting my thread, so. Oh, 
it's painful to watch, isn't it? All right. I think, no, I didn't get it. I gotta take a piece of this off. So anyways, I will link uh, Treasure Books, um, Natasha Treasure Books, most of you have probably heard. I got. I gotta pull this up where I can get it, where I can get it right under my nose to get this in here. And I would use a, um, all right, so I got it. I would use a, you know, one of those needle, one of those threaders, but it's too, they break with this, that heavy of a thread. I am not even going to measure this right now. I am just going to, I should clip it. It's easier for me to clip it. I'm gonna clip it. I'm just gonna put a clip here. Usually I go in an inch on each side and then find the middle. But I'm just going to find the middle right now. We're just kind of winging it. That looks good. Just fold it. And there's that one hole, and then eyeball it here. Now, if I were gonna do the five hole, I would just split the difference. I would go in here and then in there, but I'm not doing that. So, just going to do a quick, try to see if I can stay in frame. When I'm sewing like this, I have to kind of get right up close to my face to see what I'm doing. So it's always a little challenging to try to stay in the, the camera. Now, so you don't split your threads, you know, just pull your thread back when you're going back through that middle spot. Okay. Tighten it, not too tight so it breaks, but tight enough where it's nice and stable. I have way too much thread here, so I went under, and now I'm just gonna tie a knot, a couple. I'm gonna do a bow here. Or you can keep your strings long and Put little somethings on the edges, but I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'll trim those down later. All right, so now we've got our first little journal, and in our little pockets and things, and in our envelopes, we're gonna add things to decorate the journal with. So it's gonna be super fun. Now we're going to hinge it to the edge here. So she used the washi tape. I thought that was a good idea. I normally use um, fabric, but I'm going to try to do the washi tape. So I had to kind of split it in half because this is super wide. I either have super skinny or super wide. So I'm just going to rip it and, you know, I'm not too concerned. I kind of like the rough edge um, on the book. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the washi tape right on the book like this. And you know what I should have done? I'm thinking... I'm gonna peel that off because I want to reinforce it with glue so let me put that aside there I want to reinforce the washi tape with glue because um, so I'm just gonna put some glue right on the book here because that so it really holds it because you know washi tape it really doesn't have the best stick unless you find some super kind or something like that. So I just added a little bit of glue, good glue. So I don't want this coming apart. Now I'm gonna turn this so I can get this on here good. 
And now I'm going to uh, put it right up against there, but we want glue on this part too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue this side and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do both sides. So front and back, so inside and outside. So I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of get this right. There we go. All right, get in there, like right in that crease with the bone folder. And a little glue seepage there. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing on this side, okay? Because we need that to be, um, see, cause, so we have too much wiggle room here. So we wanna kind of really just seal that up. And let me get this. So I have washi, and I, let me see, here we go. Just eyeball how much I need here. Probably just like that. And I think I will cut this because it's getting too raggedy. All right, and then again, I wanna run some glue right here. and just reinforce, oops, yeah, that's okay. I wanna make sure I get it on the other side as well. Now, I don't like that little bit of white, so I'll probably come and ink that. And let's flip this up. And just glue this whole thing, especially around the edges. And this should hold pretty good. I have used washi tape before for hinging. Okay, so that's the first step. All right, so this will be right here and there, and then you've got this. So that's our first step. Okay, now we're gonna take those three envelopes. Here they are. And we're gonna start hinging those. Let me open this here. And actually, let me just get into here a little bit better. Um, and I'm going to start with the one closest to the spine. So this will be the spine first. And we are going to take that same washi. And I'm going to, let me just put these here because I want to make sure. So these are all, it look, it's going to look like this. So then this will come up, this will come up, and that will come up. So I have three different sizes, but you can see what I did with them. I inked them first. Um, so we're gonna start with this one and I think it will set right there. And let's, oops, washi's starting to rip weird on me. So let me, this is gonna be too much. So let me just cut this again. I think she used, it looked like about a one and a half inch. Okay. There, that's pretty good. Now I'm thinking I want the straight edge here because we're gonna be covering this other half. And let me see. Okay. 
Okay. So again, I just want to put a little bead of glue right on here. And just lay this right on that envelope. All right, and I want to get it right on that crease and right in the middle, as close as I can. And now I'll just put the glue right on this side And this will, if this this one's not going to go anywhere because I'm going to be putting cardstock cardstock over this. We're going to cover this whole thing. All right, let me just see if this is going to. Yes, here we go. All right, so we've got this. A little crooked, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me too much. I mean, it is a junk journal, and I might end up putting something here. I'm not sure really yet what I'm going to do with these envelopes, so I'll figure that. Well, you will know because you will have seen the finished project, but as I'm making it, I don't know. Now, before I do this, I want some on this side as well, but I think I'm just going to go over both of these with the washi tape. And that will seal up this, and then that will do this side too. So and I don't really remember what she did here, to be honest with you. I just know she used the washi to hinge. This is too big. Oh, you know what? I have to do them in individually because this is a different size so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this one here so let me see how much I need right there Boy, is it hot down here. Um, my room that I work in is right adjacent to the air conditioner. So if every now and then you, well, not every now and then, the air conditioning is running nonstop. Okay, so now this is nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. And then we're going to continue and do this one next. See if I can fix this mess of a washi that I've made. Because I'm, what I'm trying to do is make this wide tape thinner, but as I tear it, it's not tearing um, completely. I have to put that aside. I'll use that later. Even. See, this is so wide now. I'm going to have to. Oh well, we'll call it decoration on the envelope. All right, so there again, let me put a bead of glue here. And I'm gonna see if I can tear this down just a little bit because I think it's just too wide. All right, and um, I think I'll do the edge this way. Now that shifted. Let me get that back over there. All right. It's pretty washy, so really when we get 
when I do whatever I'm going to do to this um, envelope, it'll I'll make sure this all blends in. So I want to make sure and get these corners if they come up. Let's put a little bit more glue. Let me see. Yeah, that's that's not going to work. So it does have to be the tape can't be okay, lesson learned. The tape is got to be no no wider than the than the envelope under it okay so i could have it so i'm gonna have to cut a little piece of this out because this was not gonna it's not going to flip independently of the other one if you know what i mean so and i might have to come back and put some more glue on that okay that's better so now this one flips and a little glue there after and this one flips but we need to secure this one so I think what I'm going to do is since um, I am just going to attach these two together I'm not going to go ahead and, and, and do that down. So the, this one will seal to this one. And I, and I hope this works. So that, that's, that's my plan. All right, let me cut this washi. It's way too wide. All right. So I don't want any, I want the, the width of the washi just to be, the, the, the length rather to be the same as that envelope. So I'm still just eyeballing these things, but. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put glue on both sides. Well, I think I'll just glue this side first and then I'll glue that side. just slide this right in there kind of as evenly as I can and I'm gonna go ahead and just put glue all over this washi here okay let's get this right in there you can have a little bit of a space because, you know, you want it to flip eas easily. So let's go ahead and just get the glue seepage off of there. And I'm just going to get right in here and make sure, it, you know, it is burnished well into the, the, its little spine there. All right, so this should flip. And now we want to secure this down. Okay, so one more piece of washi. I'm, a, I'm telling you, now I know I like to, why I like to use fabric. <laughs> Unless you can get the perfect width washi, which, you know, you gotta, we all have to, we want to work with what we have without having to go and buy, you know, more more supplies okay let's see 
think that looks good. And I'm going to go ahead again and do the glue on this side first. And I want to do the straight edge. this washi and then we have our envelope flips it up a little bit. Got to dry that glue. Okay, so there we've got our three envelopes, okay, and they staggered quite nicely. And then we have um, our cover, and let me look at the time because we'll go it, we can go ahead and maybe cover. It's 31 minutes. Um, I'm trying to think what I want to do next in the process. Um, I think right now we'll go ahead and we will lay down um, some of the uh, the paper. Okay, so I have actually already cut out the pieces. Let me see, where are they? They're over here. So what I decided to do is I wanted to make sure um, this is one I would suggest inking all the way around. Okay, and I did, but you know, I thought I inked, it doesn't look like I inked real well. So I'll come back and ink that after. Um, or you don't, or you don't have to ink. I mean, so I cut down the papers just so they would, just you could see the yellow, you know, somewhat the yellow envelope all the way around so these um they fit quite nicely so i'm gonna we're gonna add um a waterfall journal on this side after but we're gonna do a pocket underneath as well uh on this piece here and i do have some of the cutoffs see both sides of the paper are so pretty so um i'm going to get a generous amount of glue all the way around the outside here No, Brie. Okay, and uh, let's, let's get that nice and centered. And see, it goes right over that washi tape and secures everything down. Now, what I like to do is with all of my papers, when gluing, I use a brayer and just come in and just get that glue all spread out underneath there. Just a personal preference. I'll leave that out. Okay, so we've got that paper, so you could, you'll be able to see that around the edge of the journal. All right, now I'm gonna flip this here, and we're gonna put this one on. Now this is the part where um, I wanna make sure, I'm gonna trim a tiny bit off of this one that I still have, you know, that room over here to close that. So this one needs to have a little bit more of a trim. All right. 
And since I took that off, let me just get a little bit of ink. On the part I trimmed. You can take this off. You might have the kind that doesn't have this, this thing and it has the peel thing off. You can tell these are really super old. Ooh, which side am I using here? I'm using this side, I think. Yeah, I like this. I like the splashes of ink. Yeah, doesn't matter, but they're both, I like both sides. Um, but I'm just gonna put the paper right over the metal. I could have taken it and um, pried that off. Try to get it right up against that envelope. Now this, yeah, ah, there is a little, a little gap there. So I'm gonna have to try to dry that so I don't seal this shut. Um, let me get in there in a minute. And, because um, there is a little bit of a space. Let me get a wet one and get some of that glue up. I definitely don't want to seal that shut because that's where we're going to put another little journal. See how this is angled down? So um, this area, I kind of went over here. So it ended up sticking to um, the journal, you know, or the envelope underneath. So let's get that off. Okay, now we're gonna flip it over and um, go ahead and do the back, the front cover, which will be the front cover. Let me get, let me let's see where that wet one is. I have a little bit of glue right here and here. All right, so let's flip this over here, and we're gonna cover this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this out, and this will be the front cover, and this is the back cover. So I picked these two, whoops. I had this image which I love it because she's writing, and I wanted that on the cover. So I'm going to put this one down first, and then I'm gonna put her on top. I might round the corners of her. So that, that'll be the, like the front cover of the, the book. So I had thought about doing a de another a new desk set series, you know, I and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try something different. So I was kind of like looking around the internet. Um, you know, most of the time I just come up with my own ideas, but I was like, I wanna do something different. Just like that torn journal, or something, one of my, one of the, uh, you guys had said, I would love to see your take on the torn journal, which was my last one. It's like, okay, well, I'm gonna try that now. And then I saw this, I thought, you know what, this is a something simple and I think it looks like it would be fun. Okay, so I wanna put her there, but I'm thinking I'm going to um, maybe put a little lace or something. So I think I'm gonna leave her off for now and then um, come up with an idea. So now I'm just gonna do the base papers. 
So this one goes here. I liked it because I like these flowers. So, so that would be in essence uh, the back, the back of the book. Okay, so now this one will just go right here. All right, so this is what it will look like. Well, I'm gonna put something on that in the front. Something, something like this. And I forgot about this flap. I did, uh, so I'm thinking I, if I'm gonna put lace around that, I have to take into account my flap here. Now, I already cut out the papers uh, for this, and I'm trying to think. This one, this one I think goes here. Yep, so let's go ahead and attach this to the flap here. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about this top flap in a minute and why it's a little bit smaller than um, the, the uh, actual flap itself. Okay, so now we've got this one. And make sure you watch your, <clears throat> you know, your hinge that, you know, you, you, that. You know, something I wanted to do. Yeah, I am gonna come back and reinforce this. I'm gonna go ahead and add this now, but I think I want to come back and add something to, you know, I might add a strip of paper right now. I wanna reinforce this right here. And I also wanna reinforce this here, so, I think the best way to do that would be with some of my scraps of paper. Um, because this is where the stress is, okay? And, and it's just an envelope and there's gonna be stress there. So in order for this to hold up over time, um, you really want to add something. Now, you know, fabric would be great, maybe a piece of muslin um, or a, uh, just some more paper here. I think I might do some fab, uh, some uh, fabric. I'm gonna look through my fabric. So I wanna do that there. And um, I wanna do that here. And so now is the, um, what I'm thinking, the conundrum, is that what you call that? Do I wanna go ahead and reinforce this hinge before I add this? Or do I just, you know, so that's what I'm thinking about right now. So I'm either going to come in and add uh, a fabric piece and put this over the top, but then it's still gonna be on that side. So I think on this side, I think I will add fabric over here on the spine part. On this part, I think I'm gonna add uh, a paper hinge, you know, cardstock. So I actually have a long strip here, and this will do fine. So let me get the length I need, and we will just wrap that right around there. So that will reinforce that. So let me cut this. 
have this one, but that's not big enough. Okay, I'm looking for my pencil mark. All right, so I'm gonna cut this down to about an inch and a half, maybe. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to fold it in half, just like this. So I've got it folded in half. I'll come back and ink this later. And um, just, let me see, maybe it's, did I do this the right size? Yeah, that's pretty good. And see how it's just reinforcing that. So I'm gonna glue that on okay and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to glue this right over the top and now i have a nice sturdy fold here because you're going to be opening and closing this here okay so uh that's what i'm going to do um but we're out of time so i'm going to do that off camera and then we're going to come back and we're going to make our waterfall journal and start adding some pockets and decorating those envelopes Okay, guys, so give me a thumbs up, please, if you enjoyed this video. I'd sure appreciate it, and maybe a little comment. Okay, have a blessed day, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.